we would like to extend a very warm welcome to the dignitaries on and off dais. I would like to request Dr. Neha to present a bouquet of flowers to honor and welcome our chief guest. Dr. Pro Dr. Shelley will now honor and welcome the guest of honor, Dr. Daswana. I now call upon Dr. Suganda to honor and welcome our Dean, Dr. Uh, and Dr. Vijayendra Chauhan. Dr. Isha will now honor and welcome uh, uh, Dr. Ashraf Khan. It is my proud privilege and pleasure to welcome you all to 17th International CME on Surgical Pathology, Cytology, Hematology on behalf of HIIT University, Department of Pathology and myself. This institute was thought of, planned and created by a great sage our Gurudev, Reverend Swami Rama. It has grown to its present form in a short span of 16 years with the blessings of His Holiness. The science of pathology teaches us the cause, mechanism and basis of disease. During the last about 40 to 50 years, there have been dramatic changes in our understanding of the disease process. The focus has shifted from organ pathology to cellular and subcellular pathology and now to genes and molecular alterations. These changes were occurring at a very fast pace in the Western world. It was therefore felt that a meeting ground between American and Indian pathologists should be designed and created for exchange of information and ideas between them for mutual benefit Thus, a joint Indo-US venture was launched in the form of first international CME in surgical pathology in 1993 at Mysore. Since then, it has become a regular and much-awaited annual event. This CME is particularly beneficial to young pathologists and postgraduate students. Today, a galaxy of eminent surgical pathologists, cytologists, hematologists, molecular biologists, researchers, and pathology administrators have traveled thousands of miles from various countries to be with us today. They, along with eminent Indian pathology faculty, will enlighten us and share their experiences with us. Ladies and gentlemen, our chief guest today is a very eminent and revered person, Dr. Pranab Pandyaji, who is the Honorable Chancellor of Dev Sanskriti Vishwadhyaya Haridwar and Head of All World Gayatri Parivar. He is not only MD in medicine, but is also a global messenger of Indian culture, a pioneer in bringing science and spirituality together, and is a shining example of holistic, purposeful, selfless life lived in true Vedic spirit. I extend to you, sir, a very warm welcome to this CME. <laughs> sir, we are honored to have you amidst us this morning and are grateful to you to find time from your busy schedule. I extend my heartiest welcome to Sri Vijay Dasmanaji, our Honorable Vice Chancellor of HIST University, to be our guest of honor today. Shri Vijay Dasmanaji is a role model of hard work to everybody here. He is a man of distinction. His ambition, optimism and vision continues to shape the institutes founded, founded on spirituality. It is indeed very kind of you, sir, to accept our request to be here in spite of being very busy today. I feel pleasure in welcoming Professor V. Chuhan, who is Dean of our University. 
Dr. Chauhan is not only an orthopedician par excellence, but also an educational administrator of repute. He has played a significant role in streamlining the syllabi, curricula, teaching and assessment methods and many other modalities in various courses in this university. Dr. Chauhan being a perfectionist by nature has an integrated and holistic approach to, towards work. All are heartily welcome to this CME. I extend my most sincere welcome to all the deputy deans, medical superintendent, and to all faculty members of this institution, volunteers, distinguished guests, organizers, students, and all other guests sitting in this auditorium. It's my privilege to welcome you once again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Professor Vijay Chauhan is the head of Department of Orthopedics and the Dean HIST University. He has been very supportive to us in organizing this international CME in collaboration with pathologists overseas. I now request Professor Vijay Chauhan to encourage us with his kind words. Sir. Honorable Shri Pranav Pandey Ji, <coughs> Chancellor Dev Sanskriti Vishwavidyale and head of all world Gayatri Pariwar. Honorable Dr. Vijay Dasmana Ji, Vice Chancellor of HIST University, Dr. Ashraf Khan, Coordinator for the CME, Professor Patak, our organizing chairman for this CME, Professor Gaur, learned speakers, faculty members, delegates, members of the media and press, and my beloved students. I pray to the divinity within you all. On behalf of Himalayan Institute of Medical Sciences and our university, I extend a heartiest welcome to all of you to this beautiful medical city of our beloved Gurudev, His Holiness Swami Ram. Friends, lives of great men all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints in the sense of time. His Holiness Swami Rama was one such life. He has left his footprints in the sense of time for all of us to tread upon. He led a life of a seeker, saint, scientist, teacher, and a great humanitarian. He used to weep on seeing poverty, illiteracy, and poor health in the mountains of Uttarakhand. So he embarked on a mission to eradicate these. He used to say, if I cannot serve the God within you, then going to temples, masjids, and churches is all a hypocrisy. What started 20 years ago with an OPD in a tin shed and a small house for rural development has bloomed into a beautiful medical township and a university. Today, we are catering rural services to more than 1,200 villages of Uttarakhand, focusing on health, education, and income generation program, and providing tertiary care services through our multi-speciality 750 bedded hospital for Uttarakhand and neighboring states. He is a role model for all of us. Apart from being a saint, he is a great physician, philosopher, and a thinker. Science is not an end for him. Science can only create a better world devoid of poverty, illness, and unfair disparities. He believes in creating a world of universal oneness where there's integration of religion, science, and art. Sir, we are blessed by your gracious presence today. I also welcome our young dynamic Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vijay Dasmana, to grace this occasion. Sir, it's an honor to have you amidst us. Friends, His Holiness Swami Rama was a wave of bliss. Though he's not in his physical form today, we all can feel his fragrance and presence in the campus. He's there to welcome you all. I quote him, all I have is the gift of love 
which I received from my master and other sages. The same gift I offer to you all. May you receive, retain, and multiply it in your hearts. God bless you. Once again, I welcome you all and wish the CME a grand success. Thank you very much. Share of credit of success of this conference goes to his excellent motivation and coordination. I now invite Dr. Ashraf Khan to say a few words. Sir. Thank you very much, Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Pranay Pandya, and distinguished guests, members of the organizing committee led by Dr. Gaur, faculty and students of this great institution, and delegates. I don't have a prepared speech, but all I can say is, on behalf of the Association of Indian Pathologists, we are delighted to be here today as carrying on the tradition that was started <coughs> 17 years ago, like Dr. Pathak just mentioned, by Dr. Nagolimat and Dr. Vijay Joshi. And I think we hope during these three days to share our knowledge, our experience in different fields of pathology with you, and hopefully in the process will be a learning exercise. As most of us present here today, we are of Indian origin, and we are very proud of that, that we can get a chance to come back to our homeland and share some knowledge. In addition to that, I'm especially grateful to some members like Dr. Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Burgart, who is a distinguished leader in GI pathology, who took time out from his uh, busy schedule and was able to travel all these miles to be here with us, and Adam Bagg, an uh, eminent hematopathologist at the University of Pennsylvania. Thank you, Adam, for being here. Uh, I hope that we will have an entertaining and educational exercise over the next three days. Thank you very much. Presidential Board of HIST. Sir, you have nurtured this institute to the stage where it is at par with the finest in the country. May I now request you, sir, to address this learned gathering. आप सबके अंदर निहित परमात्मा को प्रणाम करते हुए अपने हृदय की गहराई से आप सबका हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट डॉक्टर प्रणव पांड्या जी हेड ऑफ ऑल वर्ल्ड गायत्री परिवार एंड ऑनरेबल चांसलर ऑफ देव संस्कृति विश्वविद्यालय हरिद्वार प्रोफेसर बीबी पाठक ऑर्गेनाइजिंग चेयरमैन माय कलीग डॉक्टर विजेंद्र चौहान मेंबर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंशियल बॉडी एंड डीन ऑफ आवर यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर अशरफ खान कोऑर्डिनेटर ऑफ दिस सी एम ई डॉक्टर दुष्यंत गौर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेक्रेटरी डिस्टिंग्विस्ड स्पीकर्स मेंबर्स ऑफ गवर्निंग बॉडी ऑफ एच आई एस टी फैकल्टी मेंबर्स ऑफ आवर यूनिवर्सिटी डेलीगेट्स आवर बेलाविड स्टूडेंट्स फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड प्रिंट मीडिया लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द एच आई एस टी फैमिली आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द इनोग्रल सेरेमनी ऑफ सेवनटीन Indo US International CME organized by our Department of Pathology in collaboration with Indian College of Physio uh, Pathologists and Association of Indian Pathologists of North America Friends who is a pathologist McLaren says pathologist is a physician who is concerned with human suffering and willing to make considerable efforts to decrease these sufferings pathologist is a scientist with an inquiring mind using advanced tools available to study disease pathologist is an educator sharing his knowledge methods of scientific inquiry and his spirit with his students and medical colleagues and pathologist is a leader of both pathology and medicine because he believes in quality assurance that the role of pathology in general advancement of medicine since its recognition as a medical specialty several centuries ago 
pathology has truly built its role in medicine. It has championed the scientific study and practice of medicine and has contributed immensely to the rapid, rapid advances in medicine in general. Gone are the days when diagnosis of disease was made solely based on patient's history and clinical examination. Statistics show that between 70 to 90 percent of all medical decisions for hospital admissions to discharge have involved some role of pathology investigations. The place of pathology has firmly established and especially has over the centuries proved itself beyond any doubt. Today, laboratory investigation procedures, laboratory and imaging procedures together form an integral part of clinical medicine. The pathologist remain very much part of clinical team. Without nourishment channeled through the stem, that is pathology. Equally, the roots, that is basic sciences, cannot transmit nourishment from the soil directly to the branches of the tree in absence of the stem. We are witnessing an important and uncontestable train. Our clinical colleagues want increasingly detailed, reliable and relevant information from pathology specimen analysis that can be translated into optimal treatments. So the pathologists must re-educate and reinvent themselves if they are to maintain the central role they now play as the ultimate arbiters of disease treatment. I now request our Chief Guest Dr. Pranav Pandya to release the much-awaited souvenir. I also request Dr. Dushyant Gaur to assist Dr. Pandya. Pranav Pandya is MD in medicine but has led an altruistic lifestyle under noble guidance of Guru Pandit Sri Ram Ach Sharma Acharyaji. He joined the Yug Nirman Mission at Shanti Kunj where he laid the foundation for pioneering work to bring science and spirituality together. He initiated extensive research on Ayurveda, psychology, yagyopathy, meditation and pranayam. He is director and head of All World Gayatri Parivar, director of Brahmbarchas Research Institute, chancellor of Dev Sanskriti Vishwavidyalaya. He is editor of Akhand Jyoti and president of Swami Vivekanand Yog Anusandhan Sansthan. Under his dynamic leadership, the Gayatri Parivar fraternity has blossomed into a worldwide organization. He has been honored and awarded many times, both nationally and internationally. But today, the honor is ours to have him in our midst. May I request Dr. Pranav Pandya to encourage us by his kind words. Sir. I welcome all of you on behalf of Himalayas on the behalf of this particular serene location established by His Holiness Swami Ram. I have been blessed by His presence and I have been visiting Him very frequently when He was in physical sheath in this earth. Swami Ram, as Gita says about the people like Him, these people they rarely come on this earth but when they come they leave so many things for us, they leave footprints of their deeds. Yadyada charati shrishtha tatta devo tarajana. Lord Krishna says in Gita, the third chapter, Yadyada charati, charati shrishtha tatta devo tarajana. Sa yad pramanam kurte loka tadanu vartate. Whatever he does, the whole world follows him. And they live a life of wise, wise personality. I really, really worship him today and I see the progress of the whole university, the Himalayan University, under the very able guidance of these two dignitaries, Vijendra Singh Chauhan and the Dr. Vijay Dasmana. These two under their leadership have blossomed this particular university in such a concept has been developed in which today we are doing this pathology conference. Present on the dais, Dr. Vijay Dasmana. Uh, Dr. Vijendra Chauhan, Dr. Ashraf Khan, Dr. Gaur, Dr. Pathak and all of you 
all the dignitaries from the whole country, from abroad, ladies and gentlemen, my dear students, second professional students who are seated in the back, I can see the enthusiasm in you with the conference opening today and um, all the other staff members of the Himalayan Institute Hospital University. My dear friends, I have been a physician since last about, you can say, 30 years. Um, I passed out my degree in medicine in, as an MD in medicine in 1975 from Middle, MGM Mill College in Dor. At that time, I had an ambition to go to US and do my um, practice there. But when I went to go, went to my guru, Pandit Sri Sharma Acharji, that I want to go abroad and I have passed my ECFMJ examination, I got a job in 10 places. I want you to select one of it. Then ultimately he said, what, why do you want to go? I said, I want to serve the country. Well, you go abroad and you serve the country here, how do you do, how, how would you do it? Then I told him that I'll earn a lot of money and I'll come back and I'll serve, I'll start a hospital. And he said, why don't you stay here and help me out? Where is the appointment letter? He took the appointment letter and tore it. And then he said, work with me. Prepare a theme of the scientific spirituality, how we can combine these two disciplines. You are already MD in medicine, leave all your ambitions and leave everything to me. I'll groom, I'll, I'll groom you the way I want you to do. And at the age of 24, 20, 24 and a half years, I submitted myself to him. Today when I w see back to my life, whatever, whatever has happened in so many days, I, was, I find that I had done really wise, I had taken wise decisions. I studied all the medicine, all the systems which you have been teaching in this institution. The pathology was the subject which uh, definitely fascinated me. Uh, it was the one in which I did my dissertation of MD when I did my uh, histopathological studies of the neurons and the diabetes. That was the study which I conducted. So that definitely my interest in pathology was immense. But definitely. Uh, for a person going for a clinical subject, he wants to have the subject which is of challenge. I worked in cardiology for a long time and I really uh, found that without pathology you cannot uh, go to any, any level of uh, discipline. Means uh, any diagnosis cannot be done without pathology. Today pathology has established itself all over the world. We are passing through the great moments of change all over the world. Globalization has change the scenario. Uh, you can see the people from abroad coming to India and giving their wisdom to us, to all our young students. I have got my university with more than about 2,000 students and there also I get a lot of visiting for faculties from abroad and they come and deliver their knowledge. In the field of pathology, especially the pathology with uh, surgical pathology, which is uh, very, very important which we are going to discuss today. I am not an expert in that. I am an expert in the spirituality right now with uh, the synthesis of the spirituality in science. But what I like to throw uh, light on will be the practice of surgical pathology allows for definitive diagnosis of disease. Uh, in case, in any case where the, the tissue is surgically removed from a patient. Uh, this is usually performed by combination of gross and histological examination of the tissue and may involve evaluation of the molecular properties of the tissue by immunohistochemistry or other laboratory tests. Uh, when I see back during my days the pathology and during these days pathology, the pathology has immensely changed. Means we have gone to the micro level, mini micro level and now we can diagnose the patient very early, at a very early stage. And uh, once he has developed a small nodule somewhere in the throat and he says there is a hoarseness of the voice, ultimately when he goes to the doctor, he, do, he does an endoscopic examination and removes the tissue and go, sends it for biopsy. Immediately the diagnosis is established and he is, this is removed before it is, it is metastatic. Now this particular thing has changed the scenario of the treatment. A lot of people are surviving now. The histopathology 
the surgical pathology you are operating a patient you send a sample you get the diagnosis and ultimately you decide what to do what to do this is something has helped the surgeons also and uh, humanity is getting so much of advantage by the modern pathology that i truly i truly realize that this particular discipline has revolutionized the inter the medicine today if, if i don't know how many of you have read the book uh, the emperor of all melodies if if you if you have read that book uh, you know very well that how the malignancy is the, the dr siddhant siddharth uh, banerji chatterjee has uh, elaborated very rightly in that book that how much important is this particular system to know about the uh, various disorders in out of them the, the worst disorder today is uh, i think malignancy and the oncologist the histopathologist they have a very good relationship together because, because the oncologist will not be able to do anything without the help of the histopathologist and this particular thing gives a upper edge to the to the path field of pathology and anybody going to the field of pathology he is the person who is giving the opinion at the, at the exactly at the moment when the treatment is being given how the treatment should be monitored that that thing is being also regulated so why what i personally feel is that the this particular continuing medical education program this cme will definitely highlight many things to the our to young students to our all teachers to our all delegates many of you must have participated in a lot of cmes but this particular cme at the foothills of the himalayas on the bank of ganges in the place of the worship of swami ram himalayas garhwal himalayas a very very pleasant location definitely will give you lot of insight and lot of knowledge about what is to be done in the future this particular university is not very big but definitely it has, it is just like a nursery and from here a lot of new possibilities will emerge in near future uh, i extend my full cooperation to dr vijay dasmana for my university and his, his university we can work together in many respects uh, i am working on the various systems of the uh, indigenous systems which enhance the immunity immunomodulatory system like yoga like more modern psychological practices various things which are now being used like panchkarmas and they are being misused by the various globalized facilities like spas but the those panchkarmas which are really very very influential very very effective are being practiced here also in the ayurvedic faculty in in himalayan institute i i feel that there should be pathological studies to be done that few cases are being treated by modern medicine few, few patients are being treated by the alternative system of medicine complementary and alternative system of medicine cim has been established all over the world now how the changes can be brought in the pathology so pathology of the state i'll just narrate one example it it is the example is of during my days when i was studying uh, patrick mary was a lady in england and she was diagnosed as a carcinoma breast and uh, it was a pathological diagnosis and she was to be, to be given this treatment and um, the doctors they asked that uh, will you like to have the treatment this is the treatment devised by the treating physicians in london she was being operated she belonged to a very small village near ipswich and um, she she said uh, how many days i had left i have been left means how many days i am going to survive they said less than 6 months less than 6 months even if the treatment is given i am talking of 70s 72 73 that time we didn't have many uh, remarkable medicines remarkable cancer hospitals remarkable oncologists like today and she was said that you can opt for surgery you can opt for um, anything but you will survive less than 6 months then she said let me uh, do uh, my whole life 6 months life according to my wish but just tell me one thing why i was diagnosed so late that the whole whole system became uh, deranged and then i was informed then they told that you live in a small place by the time you come to our place of 
there were only less less number of machines that time ct scan machine and uh, because of that the lack of availability of the equipment there you you came here late now what she did in that 6 months period she started making appeals on radio on television and various uh, posters various things she she started publishing publishing and she she made a office and she started publishing that kindly help those who can, who may die like me i may i am i am going to die within 6 months but rest others who may not die in future kindly help those by preparing uh, a clinic in your nearby areas and that clinic should be diagnostic clinic there should be a surgical pathologist there there should be a ct scan machine there and all should mammography there everything should be done there and there should be it decentralized approach uh, you won't believe 6 months passed 1 year passed 2 years passed and she she survived she survived after the survival one day her secretary advised her that kindly you also go for the test you got so many institutions about more than 300 institutions you have set up all over the england and nearby european countries why don't you go for surgery why don't you go for checkup a routine checkup why should i go for routine checkup do you know that you were diagnosed malignancy of the cancer cancer of the breast she said how do you say like that well, yes that is the reason that you are here in this field then she said do we have the papers the old papers the old papers were taken and then she went for the diagnosis the diagnosis was done the biopsy tissue was taken just for this because there was nothing was found on ct scan everything was normal and after the everything was done done normal then they said who said that there was a cancer who said there was a malignancy so mary said you said that there was a cancer and how it has been cured because of the sense of service because of the sense of the uh, the the pattern which she adopted in her life because of the whole morning to evening discipline of uh, service to others you see service to others creates such a histopathological changes in the body that all the all the physiological change in the body that every system starts working in our way and this is how she survived she survived till 1980 and then she died with a very big institution this is story i told you to tell you that how a malignancy can be transformed into a not no malign non malignancy you may, you may be able you might be your scientist and uh, you might be saying that this story says that uh, she was not diagnosed properly you might say that she was not um, uh, seen re regularly monitored regularly i i i am saying one thing that i have seen lot of patients who responded to the various therapeutic trial but they responded very well to the auto suggestions hetero suggestions yogic disciplines and this field should be open to everyone because we are passing through the 21st century second decade and you see the waves of change everywhere you can see the waves of change in egypt 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 you can see the waves of change in india against corruption all over the world there are changes changes happening the medicine is changing very 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 fast the surgery is changing very fast all the therapies are changing very fast these cmes they carry very important value i hope that all of you will come to some important decisions important conclusions during this particular conference i hope that the dis discussions will continue go on and this cme will not stop here the next cme will decide about the follow up of this i welcome dr ashraf khan who has been a pioneer in this field from boston ums and uh, i believe that uh, the inter exchange of the doctors exchange of the experts of the various fields here will definitely bring more and more more and more uh, uh, value based uh, therapy system in our country because we need uh, we need it very badly we need it uh, because of the uh, number of patients too many number of patients very fast growing population of this country there are uh, small small pathologists at various corners and they are doing diagnosis there needs to there need there is a need for the awakening of the all the pathologist all over the right, make a right diagnosis make a correct diagnosis because your diagnosis decides the treatment the patient might be given a very very uh, strong treatment without any demarcation uh, you, you you might be knowing that the totally 
means the resistant tuberculosis has come. MDR was there, multiple drug resistant, now it is totally, totally resistant tuberculosis. And this strain has been diagnosed in India. Now this strain of tuberculosis needs to be uh, diagnosed rightly. Because if it is not diagnosed rightly, then the medicine, whosoever prescribes medicine, he will prescribe wrongly. So I believe that this particular CME will definitely come out with a lot of conclusion, especially on surgical pathology and the histology, various, various disciplines of pathology. Being a man of medicine, I could not cover anything beside, about uh, pathology. But whatever I can conclude is that this particular conference will definitely bring lot of lot of laurels to many students, and they will it will be enlightening those people who will definitely be able to help the mankind at large. Doctor's profession is just like a Brahman's profession. Brahman means chikitsak. Chikitsak ke do kam hote hain. Brahman ke do kam hote hain. Chikitsa aur shiksha. सौभाग्य की बात है कि चिकित्सा और शिक्षा दोनों आप लोग दे रहे हैं यहाँ पे। It is it is just sheer coincidence that the medicine and the education being rendered by you and Brahman का मतलब मेरा मतलब कास्ट से नहीं है। Today we are living in a very dangerous world. Moment you utter a single word, Brahman or Shatri or then जाति जाति, then the poly politics starts coming up. I am saying Brahman means the one who lives for others. ब्राह्मण भूसुर कहते हैं, भू धरती पर रहने वाले देवता को ब्राह्मण कहते थे, जो दूसरों के लिए जीता, लोक सेवी, the service to others, that particular concept of ब्राह्मण has to be maintained by all the physicians, all the pathologists, all the surgeons, and all the people who are present here, and the those who are going to become doctors in future, they should also understand. I invite all of you to visit my institution also, if you get time, it's only 28 kilometers from here, half an hour, half an hour drive and uh, Dr. Dasmana ji and Dr. Chauhan ji might help you to come if you if you get time and if you are busy in discussions then Gyan Yagya should not be disturbed. Yeah, I, I, I won't like you to get disturbed in you but if you get time some this time or any time in the future it is just closer to you because we are on the outer, outskirts of the Hardwar it is on the highway national highway and we are just in the border of the Dehradun and Hardwar district. So Shante Kunj welcomes you. All of you are welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. <coughs> I now request Professor Vijendra Chauhan to present memento to our chief guest, to the brother Pandya ji, as a token of our love. I call upon Professor V.P. Pathak to present memento to the guest of honor, Dr. Vijay Dasmanaji. I also request Professor Pathak to present memento to Professor Vijay Chauhan. I now call upon Dr. Prof uh, Professor Dushan Gaur to present memento to Dr. Ashraf Khan. I now call upon Dr. Ashraf Khan to present memento to Professor V.P. Patak, sir. I also request Dr. Ashraf Khan to present memento to Professor Dushan Gaur, sir. person with eye for detail and a creative bent of mind. He has a very good sense of humor. I request you, sir, to give the vote of thanks. <laughs> uh, 
Honorable Chief Guest, uh, Dr. Pranav Pandya Ji, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Vijay Dhasmana Ji, Respected Dean Sir, dignitaries on the dais and in the audience, dear delegates, faculty members, and students. The 17th Indo-US International CME 2012 has come to realization only by the endless blessings and love of our beloved Gurudev, His Holiness, Dr. Swami Rama, whose sublime omnipresence is our guiding force. I bow my head and dedicate the CME at his holy feet. My heartfelt thanks are due to our revered chief guest, Dr. Pranav Pandya, Chancellor Dev Sanskriti Vishwavidyale, and head of all world Gayatri Parivar, who has been so kind to spare his valuable time to bless us and the CME, making it a cherished moment of our lives. Sir, your kind words will serve as an inspiration for the betterment of our deeds, our karma, and I'm sure that with your blessings, we will attain greater strengths and higher achievements. I take this opportunity to thank uh, our young and dynamic Honorable Vice Chancellor at HIST University, Dr. Vijay Dhasmana Ji, for his constant guidance, support, and encouragement. The wheels of every conference and CME start rolling only after the green signal from him. He is ever ready to back any educational endeavor like this. In spite of his very busy schedule, in the preparation of the first convocation of HIST University, he found time to grace this occasion. I thank you, sir, from the bottom of my heart. My special thanks are due to Professor Vijayans Johan, Dean HIST University, who is also the head of medical education here. His mere presence is so inspiring to all of us. As the organizing secretary of the recently concluded SOPSICON, he raised the bar of organizing perfectly hosted and coordinated conferences. Sir, we can only dream of matching up to it. We thank you for being a constant source of inspiration to all of us. I wish to express my gratitude to Dr. Ashraf Khan, who, as the coordinator of INTCME 2012, chalked out such a wonderful scientific program covering some of the most important topics of pathology and then successfully inviting eminent stalwarts of these fields who have traveled across the seven seas to be with us today. To collect such a um, uh, team of eminent pathologists is no simple feat. I thank you so much, sir, for providing the soul to this event. My grateful thanks are also due to all the IPNA faculty members who have come here to share the treasure of their knowledge with us. I must mention my deep sense of appreciation to Dr. Vatsala Mishra, the Secretary of Indian College of Pathologists, who guided me at every step during the planning of this event. Her suggestions and instructions made arrangements of this conference much easier. Friends, the preparation for an international event of such stature do not happen overnight. I am blessed to have an excellent team of faculty members, postgraduate students, and staff in the Department of Pathology and Blood Bank, who stood by me through thick and thin and tried to bring the various uh, facets of this event together. It is their commitment and hard work that is obvious in every small detail of this conference. Here I would especially like to mention the name of our dear professor, Dr. V.P. Pathak, who, like a father figure, guided us at every step during the conceptualization and execution of the preparations of this event. My heartfelt thanks to you, sir. My thanks are also due to every such member of our HIST family who selflessly opined, suggested, analyzed, criticized, and supported our ideas, and even at times persuaded and arm-twisted me to reject some of my ideas where needed for the betterment of this event. My heart is full of gratitude for such endearing and reliable friends. My thanks are also due to the undergraduate students who volunteered to help me in the organization of this CME. May God bless you. My special thanks are due to Mr. Roshan Nogai in charge material management department and dear Mr. Rupesh Mehrotra in charge MTO uh, for being two of my greatest supports for the smooth execution of INT CME 2012 such a wonderful website for the CME. 
I also thank the entire staff of HIST University, IT department, HRD, photography section, and service center. My special thanks are also due to Mr. Sandeep Nathani ji, who will keep your taste buds asking for more during the next three days. I would especially like to thank my father, Professor KJBS Gaur, who is my constant inspiration, and my entire family, who most patiently kept adjusting to my erratic schedule and mood swings as I tried to put this act together. I would also like to thank the media persons who have graced this occasion to cover the event. Friends, if you enjoy um, your stay and appreciate our efforts, the credit goes to my organizing team. But I alone am responsible for any shortcomings. Please also forgive me for any unintentional omissions 